Walking across the Brooklyn Bridge is one of the most popular free things to do in NYC, but there are three other walkable bridges that are just as great for a stroll, so let's check them out. First up, the Manhattan Bridge. Let's go! If you want to socially distance and get some incredible views, the Manhattan Bridge is for you. Built in 1909, this suspension bridge is just over 6,000 feet long and it is a beaut. So the walking path is on the south side of the Manhattan Bridge and that is where all the views are. You have expansive views of the Brooklyn Bridge, of the skyline, and of the Statue of Liberty. It doesn't get better than this, folks. Now, it goes from the Flatbush Avenue extension in downtown Brooklyn all the way to Bowery and Canal Streets in Chinatown, which is perfect if you want to get your steps in because it is the second longest bridge in all of New York City. So make sure that you come with a good pair of walking shoes, some to drink, some to eat, and a fully charged battery because you're going to be taking loads of pictures. Next on our list is the Williamsburg Bridge. Built at the turn of the century, it's said that the bridge was built to resemble the Eiffel Tower, which is probably why it has a certain je ne sais quoi to it. My personal recommendation is to start the bridge walk from Williamsburg, and if you're going to do that, you're going to enter from Bedford and South 6th Street. While you won't necessarily get the best skyline views from this bridge, you'll be treated to amazing graffiti, gritty streetscapes, and maybe even a bit of music from passerby. Fun fact, the Williamsburg Bridge is one of New York City's longest bridges and it also used to be considered one of the ugliest, that is, until Instagram. Its red beams and industrial look are highly Insta-worthy. And last, but certainly not least on our list, is the Queensboro Bridge. So I have to admit that I have a bit of a soft spot for the Queensboro Bridge because it's found in my home borough of Queens. The Queensboro Bridge is also known as the 59th Street Bridge because of where it exits out onto Manhattan. So if you're joining it from the Manhattan side to walk over to the Queens side, you can catch a pedestrian walkway from 60th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenues. Another thing to know about this bridge is that while it may be easy on the eyes in terms of scenic views, it is quite hard on the glutes. Yes, this bridge is three quarters of a mile long and a lot of that is uphill, so make sure to put on your good walking shoes and to be prepared to put in that work. Probably the best thing about the Queensboro Bridge is its location. It's found between the iconic restaurant and bar scene of Upper East Side and the beautiful waterfront of Long Island City with its expansive views of Gantry State Park. And if you're lucky, you might even catch one of the cable cars coming over from Manhattan and going over to Roosevelt Island. While the stroll here is undeniably pleasant, Beware, the cyclists here are pretty savage, so make sure that you look both ways so that you don't get hit or hurt. Whether you're craving some socially distanced exercise or simply want to take in some gorgeous views, these three bridges are an excellent way to see the city while getting your steps in.